Alrighty, as always, let's watch this in full first. Okay, okay. That is the shot. Now you have a couple of notes here. You are asking me about the grass. Is it busy? I think it's okay. I think what I would do is if you can, I would just reduce the movement. I think it's I think it's neat to have that cover. Like why not? Like, you have less to animate here, like, like we talked about. There's less detail you need to concentrate there. Um, I would probably just continue it and maybe have something else in the you know landscape. You might as well put in a little sky and maybe it's a tree there or something. Might as well just flesh it out so it's not just that and that, but then it almost looks like you're doing specific sim and you want to show off that and the horse. So I would just kind of make that one cohesive set piece. Um, just kind of tie the whole thing together. Because like once you start having movement, then you almost expect, okay, well then, would you have interaction? Like, would those grass pieces move because of this? Would they get flattened? Would they get stomped on? So I think even if you take the whole, like if you take any movement out, to be honest, it might be even better. It's just there as a visual representation. Put some ground there, different colors. It's not gray. A little sky, and then, and then you got that. And then I would not have any, any movement there. Now, you haven't done a proper facial pass yet, but you were thinking about reworking it once you hit spline. All right. Normally, uh, you're saying you would have had that at the beginning. That's no problem. That's no problem at all. I see that. And then you're looking at a tricky balance between I can lock feeling on the legs. Oh, I know horses are notoriously difficult because of that. I do like it though. And you have a little bit of residual movement <clears throat> at the end here. That's actually not that bad. It just adds something to it. I don't, I don't like it. It still has... I think the big thing is going to be moving to spline. I think all your moves are cool. And again, that grass definitely helps hide some of those pieces. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I see a black piece here and then one back there if there's any type of intersection. But again, no movement in the grass and maybe even more in patches <laughs> to hide that. But I think this is cool just so you, un so you understand that hoof there and you can see it. I think that's fine. Oh, I like it. I think the only thing I would probably add. And this is, again, not that this is a shock killer, but since you're doing such good work, you might as well. Once the horse gets up here, since you are going to do more with the face, maybe you could add something at the end where like this is all mechanics right and you got potential more expressions there and at the end it could be one of those things where he does the <laughs> like the head shake or something where it's kind of like opening a mouth and doing something with it depending how much acting you want to put in there or emotions or pantomime because everything is there i could like the the speed works I like how low your head goes here and then uh, that. Just be careful as you spline to not have the stomp in the head. Boom. Pretty much at the same time. You want to be a bit more overlappy and draggy. So that it doesn't hit there. It all goes up at the same time. I just watch out for that. That's probably the biggest thing I'm seeing here. But all the details going to be in the spline. And like you said, the poppiness of the knees going through that. But it's already cool having the eye darts and the looks there. I just wonder if since you're up now and it's getting ready, it has a strong pose. Potentially you might even look at reference how far back they bend. I know they're very strong, but you might even push it a bit more, stylize a little bit more in that in the bend forward, maybe just a bit. So it's not so straight down here. But again, like could be something at the end. You could do something at the end where where it could be a reaction in the head or something in the mouth. I don't know, that's up to you. But for me, I would spline this. You're in a really good spot. I like all the, the shifts, the shifts in this, how it rolls over this section there. I should reopen your old reference. Something for you to look out for. The only thing I would say is since we are so far over, right? It's not that they, the horse can't push this way because the legs are pointed this way, but then That's for you. I don't have that reference open with me. Sorry. Um, just try to double check that. 
a couple things. Just wondering. Again, like when I watch this, all feels fine. If I go in there and I doubt myself, that much of a lean, legs pointed this way, pushing up this way. So you have momentum that goes this way, right? What stops the horse from going this way? Because right now you have changed the direction of that upper body. So either it would be maybe that leg would be less to the left and it's more, not that you can do it over here, but something where a force pushes the horse this way. This is something where you want to potentially start pushing on this leg. Maybe the backside goes up a bit sooner to push this way or none of that. And it's the head that goes sooner that leads all of this more so that at around here, your head might be already here. So that is a counterweight and the momentum of the head swing over there rebalances the horse to go this way. I'm just curious. Or the horse is still really, really strong to be able to do that. That's the only thing I would say and I would have to look at reference, but you have it there. Maybe you can double check on your end as well. What does the horse do? Is it the head swing that rebalances this way? Because if you look this way, it's tilted, right? How mechanically, how is the horse able to go this way? It would have to be through a backside or that leg to maybe a, uh, from the beginning more like this or taking a step, a quick step as it goes up here uh, to take a little bit of a here so it can push itself over this way. So it's a bit more like that, you know, and then you can take that step forward. Anyway, rambling, but I just want to leave you with that. That's the only thing I would probably look at and double check that it's all correct. All right, other than that, it's super cool. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.